Now that we know how to play some notes in GarageBand, let's create a pool of instruments so that we can use them later in our arrangement. We're going to be using two sections in this tutorial. The track section, where our instruments will be stored, and the library, which you can show or hide with the first icon on the top left. In order to add a new instrument, the plus symbol above the track section is the easiest way. Once we hit that, we're presented with the dialog box. What we're looking for here is a software instrument, which is a virtual instrument that is built into GarageBand. With that selected, we'll hit create. In our track section, you can notice that we now have two electric piano sounds. To change one of them, simply have it selected, and we can change it in the library. Let's find some strings. I'll go to Orchestral, Strings, and String Ensemble. We can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to go back. As soon as the icon changes, we can be sure that if we pull up musical typing and play some notes, we'll hear the strings. To hear the electric piano sound, all we have to do is have it selected and play some notes. So to recap, let's add some drums. Instead of the plus symbol, I'm going to go over to track and hit new track, which does the same thing. In our dialog box, we want a software instrument and hit choose. With our default electric piano selected, let's go over to drum machine and find one of the drum machines. Once the icon is changed, we can go to musical typing and hear the drum machine. To rearrange the order of the instruments, we can click and drag, and to delete, all we have to do is select the instrument and hit delete on your keyboard. Alright guys, stay tuned for the next video on recording some notes in GarageBand.